few moments. Kitchen sink at the center of a disturbance at the occupied Boston encampment, leading to three arrests overnight. Two of the demonstrators arrested for disorderly conduct, another for allegedly assaulting an officer. Occupiers say they tried to bring that sink into the tent city, but they were turned away. Police telling us construction materials are not allowed in the encampment. Officers say a 75 to 100 occupiers then moved in, surrounded one of their police vehicles, and refused to let them drive down the street. And that is apparently when things got tense. Well, that is not the occupiers. <laughs> I don't. Th uh, there's some alleged activity that went on, but I don't think a baby biting a kid's finger was part of that process. But we will tell you. <laughs> Boston police are telling us a different story than that. They say a scuffle broke out when the protesters surrounded the officers and blocked the streets. That's when they say an officer was assaulted. Additional crews moved in and the crowd dispersed. The city and the Boston occupiers are waiting a judge's decision on whether or not officials have the right to clear that tent city out. That ruling is expected by December 15th. I'm sorry, she I can't stop laughing. We have new details on another story this morning on a billion dollar plan for a resort style casino in town. Uh, and a town that says no way in the past. That's Foxborough. According to the Boston Globe, Patriots owner Robert Kraft is close to reaching a deal with Las Vegas mogul Steve.